the Razor Mesh Fence, meant to restrict movement between Zimbabwe and South Africa amid the COVID-19 pandemic. But porous and proving no hindrance to people entering the country illegally. Three portfolio committees criticized the fence, saying it was not fit for purpose. All rising courts. The SIU wanted the special tribunal court to freeze contractors' bank accounts. Third, fourth, and fifth respondents appeared together with Mr. Ferris, who's a pupil in the Johannesburg Bar. But then, a surprise withdrawal of the application. We got an undertaking from the uh, people who were responding to it, which are, who are the respondents, that they are not going to claim any money that they thought was due to them from the department. 21.8 million of the 40 million rand set aside for the project has already been paid to the contractors. We also got an understanding from them that in case at the end of the case, these monies that they are supposed to pay, they have also given under, an undertaking that they will pay that. The All right. But the probe is said to continue for several weeks. Arguments on the recovery of the millions of rand spent on the project are scheduled to be had at this court over the next month. The Public Works Department will also face a grilling. What brought the action here is to the effect that allegations have been made, allegations of irregularities in the manner in which the contract was awarded. So those allegations have not yet been tested before the special tribunal. None of the contractors has admitted to any wrongdoing. Mahaka Kekla Mathabe, SABC News at the Special Tribunal Court in Johannesburg.